All right, I figured I'd do a little um, install video of the grit shift heavy hitter lightning stop brake kit or whatever. Basically, like you put moto brakes on a um, on a Suron. So you get the box. This is what, you know comes in this box. This is thing. I already opened it. I'm just telling you, uh, it'll fit uh, Teleria and Suron, all this crap. It's telling you if you got smaller wheels, you're gonna have to grind some off or whatever, whatever. So it comes with this. I bought the dual caliper bracket one. It uses a uh, P32s. So that's the bracket. Comes with a line. That's for the handbrake. And then these are for mounting it to the rim. And then these are for mounting the uh, the calipers. And it comes with a little thing of Loctite. So but yeah, that's everything that comes in the box. Oh wait, I'm so stupid. So, you got your rotor itself. You don't want to touch the actual rotor because then you're going to have to clean it. Well, yeah, it's actually super thick. I'll do a little size comparison next to the, uh, the stock one. So, yeah, there's the stock one. And you can see the stock ones are trash because they're paper thin. So with this, you're not going to be using mountain bike brakes no more. You're not going to risk overheating your brakes and having to change your pads so often. Um, you know, obviously you're going to have stronger braking power. So if you come from dirt bikes or stunting or anything like that, you definitely want to do something like this. All right, so you'll need a T30 star bit to get your uh, stock rotor off. So. So yeah, like I mentioned before, you have to use their supplied hardware because of clearance issues. Um, and yeah, just use a little bit of Loctite if I can get it out. I figured it had been more watery. And just a dab of you. And this is a size four Allen, so to help you all out. So I noticed this when I was putting it on, this seems a little weird, all that play and it has this little piece which I assume it needs so we'll see the only instructions that came in the box is the ones I showed so we'll learn together all right I don't know what's going on with this little section right here but with the bracket the tie the like the whole rim it feels very tight so I can't even I'm hitting it with a mallet little rubber mallet and I cannot get it to move. I've even tried to get it right here. And it's just tight. I don't know if it's a issue with that. It's a little stopper pin thing. You know, I don't know if they machine the clearance is super tight and it's just almost like a press fit on that or what the deal is, but it feels tight maybe I have to remove that I might try and pull it back off and remove that and see if it gets any looser all right I've had this freaking tire on and off like six or seven times I could not figure out what the problem was turns out that it's pretty much what I said in the first place see that clearance issue and right here at the top you can see it just doesn't want to go all the way on and so when i put the tire or the whole rim and everything on it's just cocked and i can't move it back and forth so what i'm going to do is just take a little file file that down a little bit and see if that works. see if that helps there you go you can see i filed that off and uh definitely fits a lot better now it actually goes all the way and there's not a clearance issue right here if I can focus hopefully you can see that all right finally it took way longer to figure out than it should have but see all the clearances everything's nice this I got to align I that up, but yeah everything's working now all right just ran into another problem you can see 
where is it? there it is the spokes were hitting the back of the calipers and it says on here tells you right there that the spacer caliper spacer placed between caliper and bracket on required on required for j hook or offset wheels I don't know what that means. I have OEM wheels, so I assumed I didn't need the spacers behind the calipers. Uh, but turns out you do, even on stock wheels. So I don't know what J hook or offset wheels is, but you need it for OEM wheels. All right, I've done a bunch of crap since then. But now, obviously, I ran this. Had to undo this, undo your battery tray, the back portion, this skid plate and then undo a portion of your fork so you can slide the cable out to get your old brake off and then you just got to run the old cable uh this is how i routed mine this is a hc1 13 millimeter uh hand master or whatever but ran my cable down through here right here it's going to be tucked close like this ran it back like this and then up and in here um is that the best way to run it probably not all right i've got everything buttoned back up brakes are bled shit's a mess but uh i'll do a test ride in the next one also i fixed the uh brake cable situation so yeah i'll do a test ride in the next uh next video